digital economy is about the future that has already arrived. Digital economy has gained immense importance as the driver of innovation and competitiveness globally. Embracing digital economy is not a choice anymore. It is an ine inevitable function of today and future markets. As you're all aware, yesterday, His Excellency, the President, launched the digital economy blueprint for Africa while attending the Transform Africa Summit in Kigali, Rwanda. As you're aware, infrastructure is the backbone of digital economy. And according to economic survey report of 2019, the local value of ICT sector expanded by 12% from 345.6 billion shillings in 2017 to 390.2 billion shillings in 2018. And therefore, Kenyans are already reaping the fruits of this digital economy. For instance, there has been improved access to goods and services, both private and public. Other benefits include creation of jobs. In recognition that the world is going digital. The process of registering Kenyans to acquire a Huduma number will go a long way in achieving the government's goal to of a complete digital economic transformation. The centralized database generated by the National Integrated Identity Management System, known as NIMS, aims to ease service delivery to Kenyans seeking government-related services and even private business transactions. NIMS will significantly reduce identity theft and make financial and property transactions more secure. Kenyans are theref therefore joined very few countries that have done this. In Africa, though, Kenya remains the pace setter. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may already be aware, the offices of government spokesperson and the National Government Communication Center are two institutions that used to be domiciled in the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of Government. However, following the reorganization regarding national government communication and the need to streamline government communication, the two institutions have since been moved to the Ministry of Information, Communication and Technology. This therefore implies that all national government communication will now be done from the Ministry of Information, Communication and Technology. I don't think of any safer hands I could have given this job to. And I sincerely tell you and with all honesty that I believe I'm handing over the job of being the voice of the government of Kenya to probably one of the most competent Kenyans who could do the job. So I would ask you to give him all the cooperation, welcoming, and uh, at this juncture, I would also want to thank the media. You have been in my company for a very, very long time. And uh, maybe, maybe this is, will be the last time I'll be dealing with you directly and uh, what I would want to urge you is that uh, as good partners partners not only to this ministry but to other departments you might once in a while come across a paper because you are partners the government is also yours but kindly don't be in a hurry to broadcast unauthorized information I know that in areas like investigations, some of you have already incurred your media houses huge bills. When you go out and convict people before they are given even their day in court. However, I must re-emphasize that I have enjoyed your company. I want to re-emphasize that you are still great partners in keeping Kenyans informed, educated, and entertained and in moving our democracy forward. Thank you very much. I wish Kano Oguna every good luck. He has all the support he requires.